sadly, love is to some degree restrained and constrained by logic. That is why in issues this complicated, we must turn to the ancient scriptures, texts like the Quran and the Bible to find truth. Like this brilliant scholar who now explains to us how we should treat people who betray the sacred, holy notion of love through adultery. When you're married, you're not supposed to commit adultery. What you should know? happen if someone isn't loyal? What should happen? Crucify them. In the <laughs> desert, put one on the cross and the other one facing each other on the crosses. And, and then I'll strip them in the nude. <laughs> Crucify him, that's not hit hard enough. <laughs> Crucify him in the desert. Oh, no, it's getting worse. Crucify him in the desert, face to face, and then go and strip him in the nude. Does that mean the person crucified him also has to be naked? Strip him while you're nude. Right, wait, the minute I've got these clothes on, you're in a lot of trouble. extremely gifted theologian, probably an expert on all religious texts, the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Tibetan Book of the Dead, he is a holy man and will probably be able to quote passage and verse on every psalm and parable you'd care to mention. So let's not ever be dismissive of his views. Let's hear him out. It's in the Bible. Where does it say in the Bible? In the one of the pages of the Bible, that's where it says. <laughs> One of the pages, a good bit near the back, I think it's to do with Goliath or something like that. <laughs> you know, Goliath versus Jesus, that fight they had in the car park. They read the fucking Bible! They don't crucify people! Read the fucking manual! <laughs>